Hello guys. So in this video, I just wanted to talk about how much math is required and how efficiently you can learn the math along with machine learning. Okay. So there are already a bunch of advisors uh, explaining how much math is required, what are the topics and in what order to learn it. The list goes on and on and on. The topics goes on adding one after another. And most of you guys would get overwhelmed with the sheer amount of topics that you need to cover in the math area of machine learning right so is there any better way to learn the math yes at least in my case it is yes and it is what i followed and i am still following the same way in order to learn both machine learning and the math associated with it okay so i'll just take an example and explain it to you guys how to learn it so that you will not get bored and also not feel overwhelmed by looking at the topics of the math okay if you ask me, you don't need to look at the topics of the math in one go. Okay. So just pick any one topic of machine learning, start exploring it and learn the math associated with that particular topic and boom, you are covered for most of it. Okay. So let me just take a simple example. So let's say you are learning, you are just starting in machine learning and as everybody would start, you start with a linear regression with one variable. Okay. So this is kind of a hello world of machine learning so if i can say that okay so let's say you're starting with linear regression with one variable so in this case you would first understand the equation of a straight line y is equal to mx plus c so with this particular equation you will understand what is m and what is c how the values of m and c affects the orientation of the straight line right so once you understand this you will understand something about predictions right so this particular thing basically becomes your hypothesis with some initial values for m and c you will get your predictions y hat okay and you will have your actual values called as y and you want the difference between y hat and y to be minimum so they the values of both y and y hat should be as close as possible and then what you do you generalize this difference between y and y hat over all the observations that you have with with us all right and then we arrive at some cost function which we call it as mean squared error which is given by 1 by 2 m summation i is equal to 1 to m y hat of i minus y i squared so this is the equation of mean squared error and this is also a cost function one of the cost function for linear regression in machine learning right so here what is m m is the number of data points that we have okay so let's not worry about the notations in this particular video at least okay so you would learn about mean squared error and our goal is to have minimum value for this mean squared error that is j theta in other words it's our cost function correct so how do we minimize this we minimize this by modifying the values of m and c of our straight line equation y is equal to mx plus c correct and in order to optimize the values for m and c in order to update the values for m and c in a optimized way we pick an algorithm also called as optimization algorithm called as gradient descent okay so this is the first algorithm that you will be learning in case of machine learning when it comes to optimization parts okay so gd stands for gradient descent so if you look at gradient descent algorithm so it looks something like this right so we repeat until convergence we update the values of theta, right? Theta 0 equal to theta 0 minus alpha into d by d theta 0 of j theta. Theta 1 is equal to theta 1 minus alpha into d by d theta 1 of j theta. What is this j theta? It's nothing but our MSC, mean squared error, correct? So, what are these? So, while you are learning gradient descent, you are coming across this derivatives, right? So, these are partial derivatives partial derivative 
of a function j theta which is mean squared error partial derivative of j theta with respect to theta 0 and theta 1 separately so that's why we call it as partial derivative so in the process of learning a simple linear regression with one variable you are exploring equation of a straight line in depth you are understanding how the values of m and c impacts the orientation of the line and you will explore a simple cost function called as mean squared error and in order to optimize this in order to get the minimum value for mean squared error you will learn gradient descent algorithm and while learning gradient descent you will come across these terms which are called as partial derivatives of this particular cost function so once you learn this let's say you have learned all these things okay so now you are good with linear regression with one variable so what all concepts you learnt while in the process of learning linear regression so you learnt everything about the equation of a straight line the slope and the y intercept you learnt everything about mean squared error the notation is j theta so this is 1 by 2m summation i is equal to 1 to m y hat i minus y i square so you learnt everything about this particular cost function here and also you learnt about gradient descent this is one of the optimization algorithms in machine learning so have you learnt any math in this process just think you have learnt a lot of math just while learning a simple linear regression algorithm so what math you learnt so you learnt about a linear algebra y is equal to mx plus c so most people put this in the category of linear algebra right and you learnt about mean squared error and while in the process of learning gradient descent you also be learning partial derivatives right so partial derivatives first order calculus so that's pretty much that you have learnt when it comes to only math when you are learning linear regression correct so in this in this way you will not end up learning all the math concepts in one go and feel bored in between and you may be thinking that whether i made a mistake by starting to learn machine learning and ai definitely no you will not get bored if you follow this particular way okay so all i am trying to say is you pick one machine learning or deep learning concept okay so in this case i chose linear regression with one variable and you have the result with you right so you learned everything about straight line everything about mean squared error and you also learned a bit about partial derivatives what are partial derivatives and how do we derive the partial derivatives of mean squared error as a cost function correct so you learned the math also along with the basic concepts of hello world of machine learning right so whether this works with respect to everything mostly it works right so let's take another example where you are learning uh, dimensionality reduction okay dimensionality reduction concept so in this case let's say you are learning something called as pca which stands for principal component analysis so while in the process of learning principal component analysis you will get to learn about singular value decomposition singular value decomposition in short it is also called as svd okay you will learn what are eigen values and eigen vectors okay you will also learn about the variance in the data right so everything together you will learn a concept called as principal component analysis so while learning principal component analysis also you have covered a different set of mathematical concepts when you compare it to linear regression so with respect to pca you have learned about singular value decomposition svd you will learn about eigen values and eigen vectors you will also learn about variance so this is part of statistics if you can say that 
and this will again come under linear algebra right so i feel this is the most efficient way of learning maths along with the machine learning concepts so what do you do you just go with one ml topic just go through the summary of it then dive deep dive do a deep dive into the math involved in that particular ml topic and then do a application of that math concepts on that particular ml topic so in this way you will learn ml topic end to end also you would have covered the math associated with that particular ml topic end to end so in this way if you go on learning one ml topic second ml topic third ml topic fourth ml topic so on and so forth up to nth ml topic you would learn a bunch of mathematical concepts also mostly it will revolve around linear algebra and statistics so without you knowing you would have learned a bunch of mathematics and also in parallel you would have learned most of the ml and deep learning concepts right so this is how i learned and i am continuing to learn my in my journey towards ml and deep learning so this feels like the most efficient way for me at least so that you will not get overwhelmed just by seeing looking at the topics of the math that is required for machine learning and deep learning right so if you want to learn it in this way you can follow my content i have exactly followed the same way where i have explained the ml top ml algorithm and have done the deep dive into the math behind it and then i took the next step i took the cost function of any associated ml topic i did the deep dive on the math behind it and then i again plugged that knowledge back onto the gradient descent or any optimization algorithm in order to understand the entirety of any machine learning topic right so if you want to learn it learn it in this way you can subscribe to my channel and follow my content i will be updating all the concepts with respect to machine learning and deep learning by following the same order okay so in the end you will learn everything required with ml and also dl okay so this will mostly help students okay so this this i feel is a more structured way more structured way to learn ml and dl in an efficient manner without getting bored and without getting overwhelmed with the math topics involved in it okay so that's it for this video guys i just wanted to convey this message uh, in this particular video if you like the content please subscribe to my channel till we see in the next video happy learning bye bye